Hey guys, I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop and today I'm going to show you how you can finish a cross stitch in a simple frame. So what I have today is a small piece that I made from the Quilty Love pattern from Lori Holt. I have Lori Holt's small square vintage frame. I've got sticky board, a ruler, a rotary cutter, stitchery tape, batting, and a fabric. And I've also got a friction pin and some scissors. The scissors and rotary cutter that I'm using today, I only use for cross stitch finishing since they get sticky and they ruin. So let's get started. For this project today, I'm gonna to be using two pieces of sticky board. So I'm gonna turn my frame over and all frames are different, but they should have an opening. And I'm going to measure that. And on my ruler, it's between four and five eighths and four and three quarters on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw lines and then cut, cut it that square. So one, two, three, four, five. So sometimes I have to talk to myself when I'm doing this. And I think it's about right here is where I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a line first. Put it on here and see how it looks. And it looks correct here, but this size looks a little bit off. So I'm gonna first cut here. So I want this to be super tight and snug so that it'll come, go in and stay in. So it looks like I need to trim a tiny bit off and this is how I'm gonna do this for both pieces. So we'll probably fast forward here so you don't have to see me cutting, but I do take my time. There's really no way to rush this. So I put that in. So I'm just gonna keep going. And again, I just want this to be super, super snug and I'm going to make both pieces the exact same size and we will come back when I am done. So now we have both squares cut. We've got a non-sticky side and a sticky side. So first I'm gonna work on my front side. So I'll take my piece that I'm gonna put on the front and we're gonna to try to figure out where we're gonna to wanna to cut this. So what I do is I usually take, take my sticky board, put it on the left end, and then I'm gonna count how many squares I have to the right that are empty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ten. So I want to mark 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I'm going to mark 5 squares over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to draw. And this is where I'm going to play. I'm not going to cut here. I'm just going to place it on here in a little bit. Just use it as a placing guide. Place my guide. So first I will do So that looks about right. I'm going to do the same thing the other direction, except my lowest point is down here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, eight. So this one we only have four. So one, two, three, four. So basically what you're trying to do here is just center your design and you can center your design however you would like. I just happen to be a little bit OCD and do this to make it easy for myself. So now what I'm gonna do is just cut about an inch outside of this line and I'm gonna keep all my leftover vintage cloth for a future project. And you can see that I will have a big chunk right here that I can save. 
So I'll save that for another project. And this doesn't have to be exact. And I can also save the bottom of this for another project. So now I'm going to put batting on top of this because I want the batting to make this really nice and soft. So the first thing I will do is I'm gonna just use some stitchery tape. Stitchery tape is an acid-free tape and that's gonna just hold the, I'm gonna put that on the non-sticky side, peel that off. And I'll probably just do a little bit, this will hold it down good enough because I'm gonna wrap it around the other side. You just, whatever you use, you just want it to be acid-free so your project does not yellow over time. And then I'm gonna just put this batting right on top and then I'll just cut around the edge so that it is flush with my sticky board. So nice and pretty, and you know it does come up, but nobody is gonna know that. So what I'm gonna do now is place my design on here, and I'm gonna put some creases where I drew the lines, and then This is also a friction pen, which if you want that ink to go away, you can iron it and it will come off. So now I've got that as a guide and I'm just gonna kinda hold it. And that is center. Just kinda use the light to look at it to see if it's center. And then what I'm gonna do, now that it's nice and centered, is I'm gonna pull the sticky tape off the back. And I'm going to fold in, do two sides at one time, two opposing sides. So this one is the first side. And then I'm going to look at it and see, is it straight with the Ada line? And it's, you know, because you want your little lines all the way across to be straight. It's a little bit off, so I'm going to change it. And that looks really nice. So then I'm gonna do the opposing sides here. And just leave that just like that. It looks pretty straight. Then you can put it in your frame. It looks beautiful. It does look like it's centered, so I'm good. So now what I will do is each of the corners what you can do is just press down and you kind of have a little corner and on something like this you're not going to see this corner so you're just basically freeing up the edge pushing this down and then just pushing this down on top and if you wanted, you could put some sticky tape over this, or stitchery tape, sorry. I, um, I don't think I need it though. And the good thing about this frame is there is a gap between the back and the front, so your corners don't have to be perfect. So now I'm gonna pop this in. Ooh, it's so pretty. And so see the back? I'm just gonna leave it just like that. So now to cover this back up, I've got another piece. And so on the back, I don't think I need any batting on the back. Um, just because I think there's enough room, I don't think you need any batting. So now this is the fabric that I chose to put on the back and what I'm gonna do is just cut around 
the outside edge about an inch, just like we did with the batting. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. And you can just use a scrap from your stash. And then what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pull this off and I'm gonna just go ahead and leave the flat side touching my fabric. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna use the sticky tape to hold the back. So I'm just gonna do two sides, do two opposing sides first. Make sure you like it. Do the other sides. And then you can do your corners the same way. You can just pop this in here. Now I've got sticky here and sticky here. They're going to touch. And that's going to keep it inside. Done! So this is a great way to frame your cross stitch pieces in your home. I would love for you to subscribe to our Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube channel. Thanks for subscribing and see you next time.